from Linden, Alabama, January 16th, 2022. Faith and fear are two eternal adversaries. Faith and fear will never rest and reside under the same roof. So, today, I use the prophet Isaiah as a point of departure to get into a message, message from Jesus. Uh, Isaiah 41 and verse 14 is where I want to uh, uh, start off. And I'm just going to use two words out of that 14th verse, which says, Fear not. Subject of the message, of course. Fear not. In order to sustain, maintain, and preserve my intellectual and academic integrity, I freely and gladly credit this message to the account of Charles Haddon Spurgeon, born 18 and 34, died 1892. Whew. A giant in the preaching profession who in the prime of his ministry preached to 10,000 people. Mega pastor. Huh. He was well acquainted with grief. Let me tell you what happened. He's preaching to a packed crowd. Some rabble rousers up in the balcony. His enemies used the weapon of fear and yelled, fire, fire, fire. Whew. In a crowded church. There's a great stampede. And a half a dozen or so people died as a result of the fear mongers in Spurgeon's church. This morning message. Oh, my friend, there's a message in which I want us to consume, listen, and pay strict attention to Jesus as he speaks. He says, I will help you. Is it a small thing for me, your God, to help you? Uh, Jesus goes on to say, Consider, think about what I have already done. What? Not help you? He says, I bought you with my own blood. What? Not help you? He says, I died for you. And since I have done the greater, will I do less? He goes on to say, before the world began, I chose you. I made a covenant for you. I laid aside my glory and became a man for you. Whew. I gave my life for you. Since I 
did all that, then I will surely help you now in helping you. Uh, I am giving you what has already been purchased. If you need a thousand times as much help, I would give it. Your request, R-E-Q-U-E-S-T-S, your requests are nothing compared to what I am willing to give. You need much. He says, uh, but nothing. Uh, you need much, but it is nothing for me to grant your needs. Help you? <laughs> Fear not. I will help you. Is this not enough? Do you need more strength? Do you need more strength than the omnipotence of the United Trinity? Do you need more wisdom than exists in the Father? Uh, do you need more love than is displayed in the Son? Do you need more power than is manifested in the Spirit? Ye shall receive power. Bring me your empty pitcher, the Master says. This, ah, uh, my well, will fill your poor little empty pitcher easily. Hurry up, gather your wounds, your emptiness, your woes, your needs, and bring them here to the master. See, the river of God is full to meet your need. Now, what else do you need? Oh, my soul, Frank Langster, go forward in his strength. The eternal God is your helper. Fear not, I am with you. I, I am thy God, and I will. Give the, give you aid. If you feel left out of this conversation with Jesus, here's what you need to do. Talk to God about it and become included. Say this to him. Dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I believe that Jesus died on the cross Oh, uh, to forgive me of my sins. And I'm sorry for all the wrongs that I have done. And I ask you to forgive me. Tell him, I now accept your gift of eternal life. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. And thank you for the new life that I can have in Jesus Christ. From this day forward, I choose to follow you in Jesus' name. This 16th day, my friend, of January in the year 2022 is your day, your newborn day. Claim it. Now unto him who's able to keep you from falling, now unto him who's able to present you faultless before the presence of his glory. He's able to do it with exceeding great joy. Now unto him 
the only wise God, our Savior, Jesus, to whom be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now, henceforth, and forevermore. F fear not, my friend. God will help you. Goodbye.